Hi, I'm Dr. Melanie Palma, board certified dermatologist and medical director at Art of Skin MD in San Diego, California. And today we're going to be talking about what's actually in the Sculptor Aesthetic Kit. So within each kit is actually two of the vials of the Sculptor Aesthetic product itself. Within each of these vials, there's three important ingredients. The first is 150 milligrams of the freeze-dried poly L lactic acid product. The second ingredient is 90 milligrams of carboxymethyl cellulose. And the third ingredient is 127.5 milligrams of non-pyrogenic mannitol. So you probably are wondering what the two second ingredients are. Well, the mannitol is used as um, sort of a cryoprotectant. It helps with the freeze drying process. And the carboxymethyl cellulose acts as a stabilizer or, or helps with emulsification. So these are really important to sort of stabilizing and protecting the actual product. When you actually go to uh, make Sculptor Aesthetic and you're ready to treat a patient, um, you're going to want to inject sterile water for injection according to the package insert. And once you've actually mixed this into solution, it's good for up to 72 hours prior to injection with the patients. A couple of tips, and we explain that during the actual injection session, but once you're actually bringing the um, the uh, reconstituted product into the syringes themselves, you want to actually gently agitate the vial because this is sort of a particulate solution. It's, it's fairly hydrophobic, and we want to bring it back into sort of a, a nice homogenous solution before bringing it into the syringes for injection. Gently agitate it and avoid getting too much foam. This has a tendency to clog not only the syringes, but the needles for themselves. And with that, that's the sculpt aesthetic reconstitution tips for your product.